Microsoft just announced they will retire three more Dynamics 365 certifications this year. If we look at 2024, Microsoft already retired three certification in total, the MB300, the DP500, and the PL100 exam, but now they announced that they will retire three more, and they're all about Dynamics 365. The following three exams are going to get retired, the MB210 exam, the MB260 exam, as well as the MB220 exam, and of course, their associated certifications. In this video, we will cover when the retirement will happen, what happens when a certification gets retired, and we will also talk about the certification that will replace all of them because good news, we have a certification. Okay, so let's get started. In a recent blog post on the Microsoft tech community, Microsoft said, we're pleased to announce that we're evolving Microsoft credentials for Dynamics 365. Those changes help ensure that skills related to Microsoft's AI apps and services, the cloud, and other emerging technologies are validated, helping you build the skills you need to be successful in these job roles. We're also streamlining the certification journey so that you have a more straightforward path to prove those skills. Now, I'm sure a lot of you might have expected this to happen as in 2023, we had quite a few changes to the different Dynamics 365 product. We went from Dynamics 365 Customer Insights and Dynamics 365 Marketing, which had both outbound marketing and real-time marketing to all of them being merged in a single product. Dynamics 365 Customer Insights, which had two main pillars, the data pillar and the journeys pillar. So we had those big changes last year and last year Microsoft actually renamed the certification. So they did already do that change for the certification name, but after looking at it again, they decided it was not enough. So the big retirement date is November 30th, 2024. So we still have quite a bit of time, but on November 30, the Dynamics 365 sales functional consultant and exam MB210 will be retired, as well as the Dynamics 365 customer insights journeys functional consultant associate and the MB220 exam that will be retired as well. And finally, the Dynamics 365 customer insights data specialty certification and exam MB260 will be retired all of them on November 30th. And that's something that Microsoft doesn't do often. The certification and the related renewal assessment will also be retired on November 30th. Usually Microsoft gives a few extra months for that renewal to still be active. So if you had that certification and you can renew it, you could still have it active for one extra year. But for this certification, Microsoft just decided that we will close everything down on November 30th. Now, what happens when a certification retires? The certification will still show up on your profile and transcript. So it will still be there and it will be active for one year after you pass the exam or after you have renewed it. After that, it will show up as an expired certification. So on your transcript, you will still see that you already passed that certification, but it will be expired similar as if you did not renew it. But good news, we have a replacement certification available and Microsoft didn't give us that much detail, so we don't have an exam number, but there are things that I can share with you. So the new Microsoft certified Dynamics 365 Customer Experience Analyst Associate Certification, that will be the new name for the certification, will be released in late September 2024. It can help you prove that you have the skills to elevate the customer experience, strengthen customer relationships, 
and earn customer loyalty by using Dynamics 365 Sales, Dynamics 365 Customer Insights Journeys, and Dynamics 365 Customer Insights Data. Now, uh, we are basically replacing three different certifications with only one certification. And there are some pros and cons to that. On the pro side, you will now need to pass only one single certification to prove knowledge in all three products or two products, depending on how you're looking at it. It will be cheaper as now you will only need to pay for one certification instead of three and you will only have one certification to renew every year instead of three. Now on the con side, you must master all three or both products, depending again how you look at it, in order to get certified. So if you're only a Dynamics 365 sales expert, well now you will need to understand and master Dynamics 365 customer insights in order to get that certification. We don't have product specific certifications anymore. And again, it's not well suited for those who only know one of the products and not all of them. But in addition to this replacement certification, we will also be getting some applied skills. Microsoft confirmed that we will get at least two different applied skills for Dynamics 365 customer insights. The ones that we know about so far, there will be one called creating and managing journeys with Dynamics 365 and another one called creating and managing segments. So those are the only two we know about for now, but I'm sure Microsoft will do more as they seem to be releasing a ton of applied skills lately. Now some Q&A or some questions that I get often. What if I'm studying for one of the three exams that get retired? So if you're currently preparing for any of the three exams, go take them before November 30th, 2024. Again, it will stay on your transcript forever to show that you have that knowledge. It will be expired after one year, but still, if you're studying for it, you want to prove either to your employer or to yourself that you have that knowledge, go take that exam before November 30th, 2024. If you already have one of those certifications, well, again, make sure you renew it one last time before November 30th, 2024. I also understand if you'd prefer just simply not to renew it and let it expire in one year after November 30th, all of them will be expired anyway. So uh, I would suggest that you still go renew it, but I understand if you don't want to, but uh, anyway, if you want to make up your mind before November 30th, because that's when the renewal assessment will also go offline. And now if you're a Microsoft partner, we know that this certification or those certifications are part of the requirements to be a Microsoft partner. So don't worry, Microsoft is aware of that. So there will be new certifications or changes in the partner program that will be communicated from the partner program on what certifications or applied skills you need to remain at your level of Microsoft partner. Now, this is it for this quick video. What do you think about this retirement? Do you think Microsoft is making a good move in merging those three certifications into one single one? Or did you prefer that we had separate certifications per product? I feel it's a bit the same discussion we're having on the Power Platform side where some people wish there was a certification for Power Automate, one for Power Apps and so on, instead of having the one certification for all products. But let me know what you think in the comments and make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel to get the latest Microsoft credential news.